Hey guys, it's Doc, and today we're going to talk about killing nut sedge in your lawn. That's right, how to get rid of that stupid nut sedge. <laughs> so hold on one sec. Hey guys, it's Doc, and today I'm shooting three videos. <laughs> I'm shooting killing nut sedge, a new grease gun fitting that I found that I really like. If you have a lawnmower or a spreader or anything that has a grease gun fitting, you'll want to take a look at that video. And then I'm also doing a hot summer fertilizer. So it's uh, getting close to July 1st right now, and I'm putting out fertilizer. So I'll explain that too. So I'm going to use this intro for, I think, for all three of the videos. But I did want to say real quick, if you didn't know, the new PGF Complete is finally available on Amazon. Uh, it's been over a year in development, and it just hit last week. So it's in stock at Amazon. It, you can go ahead and order it, and then it ships a couple days. It's just the Amazon fulfillment center. And process. if you haven't watched the videos on this stuff and the testing we've been doing with this, go to pgfcomplete.com. It's absolutely amazing. Also, don't forget, we're giving away a $2,000 reel mower. We're giving away 10 free bags of PGF. And what else? Oh, we're giving away a spreader. There's a new spreader that's coming out. I figured I'd go ahead and test for you guys, and we're going to give it away too. So... Make sure that you're a subscriber to the YouTube channel and then go over to the website and there's an email alert system and just sign up for the email alert system. That's all you got to do. And for all the giveaways, you're registered. Now, I'm going to do the, uh, the PGF giveaway on July 15th. I'm going to do in the spreader giveaway as soon as it's available, I'll do it. But the real mower giveaway is August 15th. So don't forget, watch that video too if you want to watch it and find out more about that giveaway. Let's move on. Let's talk about nut sedge. Uh, nut, sedge is, nut sedge is strange because there are little nutlets. <laughs> he said nuts. That's right. There are little nutlets under the ground. And those little nutlets, and there's a root system, and it grows more nutlets. It's kind of crazy how it pops up. But you can kill your nut sedge, and it'll come back the next year. It's just kind of an annual thing you got to do. So I have about five areas that have a little nut sedge problem. It's nothing major. I'm going to show you how I treat that. If you have a huge nut sedge infestation, then you're going to need to do a full application. Read the bottle. Follow the bottle instructions very carefully. But one tip I'll give is that I don't know what the percentage is, but a certain percentage of the killing is done via foliar absorption. But the larger percentage is done by the root system. So one thing you can do to help protect your Bermuda a little bit is if you got to do a general application, then what you can do is you can spray it and then wet it in, wet it in, wet it in, and get that stuff off the Bermuda grass. Now, it's not going to prevent any little burning or damage issues, but it should help. So I'm going to talk about two products today. Let me go. So I've always used, and I'm going, to I'm going to put links to both these products. In the description below, there's going to be a link. You can go to our webpage, and I'll put links directly to these products. So uh, I've always used Image for Nut Sedge. It's just a little bit slow. Uh, it's st the, the nut sedge starts to yellow probably in about four, five, six days, and it dies off in about a week or two. Uh, image is pretty good. This bottle, you know, it's like uh, 18 to 20 bucks or something like that, but it lasts you a long time if you're doing the treatment that I'm doing. Now, I also use this on Poana, by the way, just so you know. Now, that bottle, like I said, is about 18 to 20 bucks or something like that. Here's the, here's the hard part. <laughs> I wanted to try dismiss this time. This bottle is close to $70. <laughs> You're like, you order a bottle, you see the picture. Oh, you think, I got a gallon of Dismiss coming. <laughs> you open it, what is this? Here's your Dismiss, that's what it is. But there's a big difference. Let me give you an example. If you were to, now I'm not using exact numbers, I'm just pulling numbers out of the air. If you were to have like a gallon tank sprayer, let's say, and you were to go, go around and kill weeds, you'd put like maybe two and a half ounces in that gallon of water from the, on the image. On this, you might put a teaspoon, not a tablespoon, a teaspoon. So this bottle will actually last you probably five times longer than the bigger bottle. That's why it's expensive. But the stuff works, I'm telling you, and it works fast, and it works on a bunch of weeds. Matter of fact, if you go to the webpage, I'll go ahead and I'll grab the weed list that it kills, and you can see the list of weeds that it kills. It does clover, it does spurge, it does a bunch of different stuff, but you really have to be careful. You really have to understand the dilution rates on this. And again, uh, don't take my words for it, but it's like if you're gonna mix up a gallon of water, you might put a teaspoon. Now remember, there's what? 
three teaspoons and a tablespoon. So it's not a tablespoon, it's a teaspoon. <laughs> Understand that. So it's a very, very small amount. So let me show you, let me tell you my trick for it. Now, one of the things is, is when you're killing weeds in the summertime, and that's when nut sedge really starts to, starts to propagate up. So I don't like to do a full spray treatment. I hate to come in, I hate to spray chemicals. I don't have a single weed on my lawn this year, not one. And that's because we follow the Bermuda grass calendar and we do a strong double application of pre-emergent in the in the late winter and spring so i have zero weeds and i have to use no weed killing products on my lawn that's the number one top priority for a healthy lawn is that early spring pre-emergent and if you missed it well we'll get on that next year but the only thing i have is nut sedge and pre-emergent really won't stop nut sedge so I'm gonna show you today. This bottle did have a piece of tape on it that said image and I pulled it off, but I changed this over to the dismiss. Uh, this has one teaspoon, one teaspoon of the dismiss and one teaspoon of the green dye inside of it. So the green dye that we use for super juice, I actually put in this too. And you do want a dye mark because you don't want to double treat any of the areas. So today, let me do this. Right now, I'm gonna take you out you take this spray bottle and I'm trying to get a point across on on this I don't want to I don't want to mist so if I have a piece of nut sedge sitting in the middle of, of Bermuda grass I don't want to miss that whole area what I want to do is I want to go in so you've got your main nut nut sedge stem here and then it sort of flares off like this okay so it sort of flares off like that what I want to do is I want to get that nozzle right here and sort of just drizzle it down to the main root system. I want to avoid a lot of contact with my Bermuda grass um, as much as possible. And you and you can see it. I've got green Bermuda grass and I've got brown, 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 brown. And it happens very quickly. 24, 30 hours, it starts to die off with that dismiss. So let me go ahead and I'll show you. Grab video of me applying it. Let me grab that and put that up. Let me show you what I do. So, as an example, I always have a little bit right here. See it? So there's some nut sedge right there. Like I have a few little pieces here. And the noise you hear is a bad pool pump that needs to be replaced next week. Alright, and then you can see over here, you can see the nut sedge. I have a little patch over here. You see it right there. Right there. So, now, I've already treated that as you can tell. So I know what I've treated, unlike I don't know what I've treated. Now, we had a thunderstorm come through last night. And that's why we got all this crap here. But I'm getting ready to cut the grass, so I'm not worried about it. So I take um, one teaspoon of dismiss, one teaspoon, and then one teaspoon of green dye, and I fill up this whole bottle. And so what I do is I look for... I look for the center of the plant. See how each one of these has the sort of a center? And all I want to do is, is I'm just going to spray each one of those. Now I'm not necessarily trying to cover the foliage because a lot of this action is done subterranean down the ground. But as long as I hit the main stem of each one of these, that one, that one, there's one, there's one. So I'm not spraying, as you can see, I'm not spraying a lot on the Bermuda grass. I'm targeting the nut sedge. Now oh, I gotta clean this place up. But every single one of these main stems I'm hitting. Okay guys, so now that I've put that video up, let me go ahead and show you the results. Uh, actually, I'm gonna grab the camera. Let me just show you the results on it. Okay, now I intentionally did a little bit of overspraying on some of these, but you can see that this is, you can see the nut sedge. The nut sedge is just absolutely dying. Now, is any of the Bermuda dying around it? Yeah, there's a little bit of brown up. It'll be fine. The other Bermuda will pull in. Let me see if I can pull one out for you. But that's kind of what dying nut sedge looks like. See it over here? I have a little bit of nut sedge problem here. Now you can see there's a little bit of Bermuda damage around the nut sedge as well too. And that's because 
I kind of went in there and did a heavy shot with it and I wanted to show you that you know you can damage your Bermuda but it's only just the area around it so pulling nuts edge will not help by the way you're not going to get all those little nuts that are down below See, this seems to be, this back area seems to be my main problem area around my pool you can see my spots here and then down over here in gnome corner i always have some every year pop up you can see it over here see it through the sunlight see those brown things sticking up there there's some there and there's some there again <clears throat> Did any of the Bermuda get damaged? Not a whole lot here. Um, but this stuff is definitely, <clears throat> definitely dying. And again, now that I've watered it in, it'll go down to the roots. That's what your nut edge is. Now your spray bottle, you want your spray bottle to hit. Okay, so here's what your nut edge looks like. And you want your spray bottle really to be put right here and just drizzle and have it drizzle down to this root system. So just a little drizz, slow trigger squeeze right here. Try not to stand above it and go pss, pss, and spray this whole area, okay? Try and get your nozzle right there and just give it a little slow squeeze. And that's how I do it. So uh, like I said, guys, this is how I take care of my nut sedge problem. <clears throat> I probably have maybe a hundred little nut sedges that pop up every year. I got to walk around and take them. It takes me maybe 30 minutes to do it. That bottle, if that's all I have to do, that bottle will probably last me 10 years <laughs> of that dismiss. If I use image, one of the good things about image is that you can use image if you have a Poana problem as well too. I'll have to see about it uh, to dismiss on image. I haven't done the research on that. But uh, that's about it guys. Good product, good way to use it. Talk to you later. Doc.